Hey, what's up everyone? Hope you guys are doing well. So today we're going to take a look at how to design this profile card with a nice little hover effect as it when you hover your mouse over it, the gradient illuminates. We'll be doing this in Framer. Just a side note, I am not an expert web designer, but I've been learning the basics and I recently figured out Framer, which I totally fell in love with. So I might be making a few mistakes here and there, but I'll share my process of how I did it and hopefully it will be helpful for you. So I might be making a few mistakes here and there, but I'll share my process of how I did it and hopefully it will be helpful for you. I'll also share a remix link in the description below so you can take a look at it and have fun with it. All right, so let's start. For beginners, this is a component with a hover effect. I'm going to detach the instance and then uh, quickly take you through how this thing is laid out, which will make things easier for you. So the parent element, which the, the card itself is, it's a stack. It has three major elements inside it, an image container. I'll just name it an image container and then a name and arrow container which contains the name, the tag, as well as the arrow. And then we have the gradient itself as a separate element. Things will be easier once we start working on it. Cool. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to keep this aside and we will start everything from scratch. Perfect. I'm going to hit I and then add an image element. I'm going to give it a 350 pixels width and a 400 pixels height. You can go with whatever you would like to. I will then add a stack to it. The easiest way is using the keyboard shortcut that is command alt enter on Mac. I'm going to again do another command alt plus enter to make it again inside a stack. So right now we have two stacks. The second stack contains the image. I will make this the parent stack as well as this the image container sorry and then this one as the image now we just need one more stack which will have the name arrow as well as the tag so i'm just going to before that i just want to make the sizing of this clear so that uh, it doesn't mess us up the image needs to be filled to the image container and the image containers width need to be again filled as well as the height we can go with relative. Perfect. Now I'm going to duplicate it by pressing command D. Now you see we have two image containers. One is on the left, one is on the right, but we want it vertically. So we just need to make it vertical, which will make things top and bottom. Perfect. Now we need to remove the image from the image container because now we'll be using it as the name and arrow container. Now we delete the name and arrow. Awesome. Now I'm going to add a text inside that container. Call it Alexa McCarthy. This is, this is just the name. You can go with whatever you want. Command D, add another text, which will be called video editor. This will be used as the tag. Now, what we need to do is we again need this inside a stack because we want it as a vertical position. So I'm just going to hit again for a stack, command alt enter, which makes it inside a stack and then make the direction to vertical. We need to hide, we need to fix the height of it and also align it to the left, which makes it easier. Awesome. This is the name and the tag. I'm going to duplicate it and then call it arrow. I will get rid of these. So the way I'm going to get the icon is using the phosphorus icon pack, which is already available on Framer. I am just going to make it fill the height as well as fill. Now we need to figure out the layout because uh, right now we see that it covers half of the card and this covers half of the card. Before that, I'm just going to quickly put in the image because that will make things easier for us. I'm just going to click on the image element 
and then click on the setting that is on the right hand side I will use the unsplash and get a stock image perfect so right now we have that image but that is not how we want it to be and we will fix it by fixing the size settings so right now the name and arrow container is set to fill I want to do that same to the image container and height as fill the name and arrow container make it fill the image container we can click that and then increase the fraction which makes things easier for us so probably just five fifth of the fraction is we'll do the same thing the sizing with the name and tag I'll just use the fill for width the same goes for the arrow container the fill the height is right now set to fixed but we need to add best thing about the phosphorus icon pack is you can just select whatever icon you want from the setting found at the right hand side so I'm just going to use the I think it's called the arrow circle upright yes there you go and you can also change the weight which is the best part so we right now don't have padding around the card hover element so what we're going to do is we're going to just click on the card hover and probably add a padding of something like 25 pixels which gives more breathing space we'll also quickly change the background color to the same background color we had that's nice things are coming in play I'll also change the radius add soft corners change the radius to 20 I'll do the same thing to the image but not on the image itself but on the image container this is where containers are really helpful perfect so I think all we need to do is add the gradient to it so the way we are going to add gradient to this thing is by using a frame so I'll just make a frame probably something like 90 by 90 and then I'm going to add a radius of let's say 100 I'm going to add a color to it which is the same color so here I have a linear gradient applied to it by the way you can just add any linear gradient you have right now to the preset by just clicking on the plus button all I need to do is just click on fill go to linear and add this there you go nice little gradient but we need to make it look like this for this we all we need to do is just add a little bit of blur to it so if you don't find the blur right in the styles panel you need to go to the plus icon and then add blur to it started looking like something probably will get the blur there you go get it even and add it as a 40 I think this looks good now we need to add this inside the card hover so I'll just place it inside this one sorry just need to place it inside this one but right now it it is messed up because the whole thing is now a stack right so if I move things up and down it's acting as if it is inside the stack but I don't want it to do that I want it to be individual and act individually so the best feature that framer has is the absolute position which keeps it independent of the stack so now all I need to do is just all I need to do is just add it to the position I want I think this is fine so right now you see that it is on top of the text as well but we don't want that to happen the easiest way to fix this is to go to the styles and add a zero index and then go to the text as well as the video editor style add a z index and then call it one which makes it behind the text as well as we will also add it to the image container so that it also doesn't mess up with that there you go now it's behind the image as well as the text and the tag we also need to make sure that we have that for the arrow container because once this illuminates we don't want it to be on top of the arrow so we'll just also add a z index to the arrow and call it 
maybe one or two whatever so right now everything is ready all we need to do is make it into a component and add the hover effect which is super easy we just select the card hover we add a create component we call the component card hover now we are taken to the component screen where we can once we select this we can add another hover effect that is the hover variant and all we need to do is we need to select this gradient and then make it just bigger just as big as you want it to be i just go with this one looks fine and also the other small subtle effect that i want to give is i want to change the the icon color to white and now once we preview this you can take a look at this Super. nice little subtle animation the best part is framer takes care of everything else even the transitions you don't have to figure out the transitions so that's it for this video i hope this was helpful for you let me know in the comments if you have any difficulties let me know in the comments if you would do it in any other way because that will be helpful for me as well to learn all right uh, if you'd like to see any more videos on Framer, share it in the comments so I can know that that's something that you would like to see more of it. Cool. Talk to you soon on the next one. Peace out.